So my determination in fighting voter suppression definitely stems from understanding my history. My name is Jasmine Crockett. I am the state representative for House District 100. When I'm not acting as the state rep, I'm usually working as a criminal defense and civil rights attorney. Does somebody have to die before we get rid of a bad officer? That should not be the standard, and that is the problem. I am the only uh, black freshman in the Texas House. I am only the 22nd black woman to be elected to the Texas House. I am the youngest elected official in the state of Texas. Hi. <laughs> yes, that's me. I came here to legislate. It just so happens that I'm black. In the state of Texas, we have more African-Americans than any other state, and we're continuing to grow that population. And I think that that's yet another reason that voices like mine needed to be here writing the laws. And instead of us doing something to protect people in this state, we decide to punish, punish people who are already suffering. That is what's wrong in this house. Voting gives us our voice. In 2020, we saw a record number of voters. The reality is that the numbers were so tight this last time, it was somewhere between five and six points in this state. But the majority of this state is black and brown. What does that mean? We know that the majority of black and brown people vote democratically. The Republican Party is shifting in the wrong direction. They are trying to turn our government into anything but a democracy. And that is a problem. Democracy is only good so long as they retain power. Once they lose their power, then they want to get rid of democracy and do something different. And it's, it's sad. I thought that once we ridded ourselves of the cancer known as Trump, we would be OK. But we're not. He still lingers in the hallways of so many of these legislative bodies, including the hallways here in the state of Texas. 48 states are trying to enact laws that will suppress the vote. And what that means is that we've got to fight back even harder. SB 7 here in the state of Texas, in my opinion, it was a life-threatening bill. So since we walked out of the chamber on SB 7, what I've seen is number one, the bill died. And that was a huge win for us. Number two, there is a shift in the attitude of the Republicans. They don't really know what we're willing to do, how far we're willing to go. They don't know if we will continue to break quorum. And so therefore, they will have to enter into good faith negotiations if there's going to be a new voter bill this session. Democrats on a national scale have to work together. We've got to apply pressure to the US Senate and send them a message. If you don't pass what we need to back us up, then maybe we need to find new U.S. senators that will back us up. If I were to be speaking to black people specifically, what I would say is that you can't let them see you sweat. I won my race by 90 votes. It was the closest primary in the state of Texas for the state house. And it was black people that pushed me over. It was young people that pushed me over. I am only here because of them. And so you've got to believe that every single vote will count. I don't see that hate in the next generation. They are my hope, they are the future, and I'm praying that they can get us on track because the current generation is doing everything that they can to keep us off track.